Every day, science is coming up with something new that falls nowhere short to amaze us. We are nearing the days of dreams, the days when reality meets science fiction. Are you ready to embrace such a super smart, fast and futuristic world? If yes, then you might be wondering what scientific wonders are awaiting you, aren't you? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and also press the bell icon to never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics and future technology. That being said, let's begin. Are you compatible with robots? The interaction between humans and robots AI, it's HAL 9000's fault. Clippy's continuous happy interruptions or any navigational system that sends delivery trucks to dead ends. People and machines do not always get along in the workplace. However, as more AI systems and robots assist human employees, maintaining trust between them is critical to getting the job done. With the help of the US military, one University of Georgia professor is attempting to close the gap. The United States Army awarded Aaron Schechter, an assistant professor in Terry's College Department of Management Information Systems, two grants totaling almost $2 million to explore the interaction between human and robot teams. While AI in the house can assist with grocery shopping, AI on the battlefield presents a far more dangerous set of conditions, where team cohesiveness and trust can be the difference between life and death. While visions of military robots may veer into Terminator territory, Schechter explained that most bots in systems currently in development are designed to transport heavy loads or provide advanced scouting. For example, a walking platform carrying ammunition and water so soldiers aren't burdened with 80 pounds of gear. Next, robotics in the future. The robotics market has a diverse and ever-expanding product offering. It's feasible to make predictions regarding the future evolution of robotics and the robotics business after many years of work with both Eastern and Western clients. Professional service applications will account for a significant portion of the industry based on demand. Customer behavior changes have emerged as a major driver of the industry's growth. For example, in the sectors of industrial customization and logistics, delivery services and online marketplaces have increased the demand for robotics. The current need to automate an increasing number of food delivery activities has led to a rise in robotic technology's application in these domains. Rovers were invented to convey food orders to clients all over the world as soon as demand and automation were recognized and applied in the food sector. More companies are using delivery robots, incorporating robotics into many elements of restaurant operations, and so on. Looking ahead to the future of robots, this tendency is expected to continue and extend to additional industries. Robots will be heavily incorporated into new domains of human life and technological operations throughout the next decade. Mobile automated devices will be easy to integrate into current manufacturing systems and will have longer life cycles. Waste recycling procedures will be enhanced in response to customer demand for environmentally friendly production and more complex solutions for sorting and distribution of recyclable materials and industrial waste will develop. Next, start with the data to defend AI against cyber attacks. When it comes to security, artificial intelligence is unquestionably a game changer. It not only considerably expands the capacity to control and monitor systems and data, but it also adds a degree of dynamism to both defense and recovery that significantly raises the challenge of launching a successful assault while lowering the rewards. However, AI is still a digital technology, which means it may be hacked especially when met with a sophisticated attack. As the world becomes more reliant on systems intelligence and autonomy for everything from corporate operations to transportation and healthcare, the implications of a security breach become more severe as the chance of a breach decreases. As a result, businesses should examine their current AI installations as well as their long-term objectives to determine where risks exist and what can be done to address them. Hackers have demonstrated that AI can be hacked by focusing on its data sources. This might be used to divert self-driving cars into oncoming traffic or accelerate them to unsafe speeds. Hackers will have more access to AI algorithms as AI algorithms grow more reliant on open source technologies. Securing AI requires a two-pronged approach, reducing attack methods and opportunities while minimizing harm. The threats posed by tainted AI are more subtle than those posed by traditional platforms, but they are no less serious. Rather than waiting until the harm is done, organizations should adjust their security policies immediately to reflect this new reality. 
Next, is it possible to trust AI to safeguard AI? Now that AI is making its way into the mainstream of IT infrastructure, the race is on to keep it safe when exposed to data sources outside of the enterprise's control. AI will face a wide range of weaknesses and an increasingly sophisticated array of threats, virtually all of which will be driven by AI itself, from the data center to the cloud to the periphery. Meanwhile, the stakes will be rising, as AI is expected to become the backbone of our healthcare, transportation, banking, and other vital industries supporting our contemporary way of life. So before enterprises start pushing AI too far into these distributed systems, it would be a good idea to take a step back and make sure it can be effectively safeguarded. At the system level of systems like Watson, IBM is aiming to develop adversarial resilience, the organization will be able to maintain security postures by installing AI models that interrogate other AI models and then correct those models if they break from standards. However, this necessitates a mental change away from hunting out and fighting malicious code and toward monitoring and regulating AI's behavior to everyday inputs. More resources should be allocated to preventing and reacting to assaults. Using AI-driven event information management systems, most firms are capable of recognizing dangers. However, preventive and reaction times are still too slow to adequately mitigate a catastrophic breach. According to Rapid7 CEO Corey Thomas, there are methods to empower AI to focus on the elements of security where it excels. Next, are you still training your AI with real data? It may be paradoxical. However, some say that real-world data, rather than real-world data, is the key to training AI systems that must perform in chaotic real-world situations such as self-driving vehicles and warehouse robots. Synthetic data, on the other hand, is seen to be the key to unlocking AI's real potential. Synthetic data is created rather than acquired, and Gartner estimates that synthetic data will account for 60% of data needed to train AI systems. However, issues persist regarding whether synthetic data can effectively reflect real-world data and training AI systems for real-world scenarios. Therefore, its usage is controversial. NVIDIA has jumped on board with the synthetic data craze and is aiming to be a leader in the nascent business. The Omniverse Replicator, which NVIDIA defines as an engine for producing synthetic data with ground truth for training AI networks, was revealed by NVIDIA founder and CEO Jensen Huang in November. Rev Leberadian, Vice President of Simulation Technologies and Omniverse Engineering at NVIDIA, explained what this implies to IEEE Spectrum. Synthetic data allows you to scale big datasets and automatically annotate each image with the appropriate metadata without having to do much work yourself. Fake data has helped self-driving cars to recognize automobiles, road signs, and pedestrians in their surroundings. Surveillance camera businesses have also utilized it to detect when packages have been delivered outside of people's houses. Next, warehouse management is being modernized thanks to artificial intelligence, AI. The warehouse management stack, like all other aspects of the business, is becoming more automated and intelligent by the day. Despite this, the technology isn't just for the warehouse floor or the needs of a growing robotics workforce. Instead, you'll find just as much activity going on behind the scenes with software modules doing planning, provisioning, and other tasks. These new technologies will be critical in smoothing out the numerous kinks that remain in the warehouse management industry and may give much-needed respite to an overburdened supply chain. Despite this, most CEOs estimate a 60% return on investment in AI in the next five years. This is due to a lack of internal knowledge and expertise in what is a completely new way of managing systems and processes. It will also assist in the physical transformation of warehouses by managing critical activities such as power management and temperature control. And it may eventually change the size and placement of facilities. The organization also takes a major step forward in breaking down the silos that stifle performance by converting a warehouse into an intelligent, autonomous entity. Many of the fundamental hurdles that prohibit all aspects of this complex system from operating together as they should are removed with a linked warehouse. Organizations in the warehouse, in particular, will be able to measure meaningful changes in numerous key performance metrics on a daily, weekly, and hourly basis. Next, how to increase one's quality of life by utilizing data analytics. Technology has bad notoriety for being cold and impersonal. Machine-driven artificial intelligence, 3D, and biomechanical software are all easily compared to an episode of Netflix's Black Mirror. 
Advanced data analytics solutions, on the other hand, have the potential to improve human lives when applied to the correct situation. Consider the workplace. Every day, workers in virtually every industry from shipping to pipe fitting are in danger of being physically harmed on the job. Slips, stumble and fall, as well as lifting-related injuries, such as overextension and other poor body mechanics, account for more than half of all manual worker compensation insurance claims. Many of these issues may be prevented or remedied by using appropriate lifting techniques, maintaining excellent posture and strengthening the core. Musculoskeletal strain or injury is known to be caused by repetitive actions. Workers may be instructed to stretch and participate in drills while their motions are tracked by their smartphones. Cameras might be placed throughout the work area in factories and distribution centers. The results of that analysis would be transmitted to each employee's smartphone, along with strengthening workouts and access to company-paid trainers. Wearable trackers and sensor-equipped vests are being worn by some firms' as employees. Employees are likely to appreciate honesty and investments in less invasive technologies. Most major system settings have already incorporated computer vision technology into their security mechanisms. Companies might utilize these abilities for good by not employing those cameras to track people's worst behavior. In an ideal world, people in labor-intensive professions would be retrained using AI-assisted on-the-job training to handle more difficult problem-solving activities. For example, video is an excellent source of qualitative data and it is popular on sites like Instagram and TikTok, even among white-collar employees. Better posture minimizes injuries and allows for a more active and fulfilling lifestyle outside of work hours. Next, rivers need a Roomba. Robotic vacuum cleaners are becoming increasingly popular in commercial and home settings. But what about in a natural setting? Urban Rivers, a Chicago-based startup, has built a bot that collects trash from a floating garden beside the Chicago River using similar technology. Water is a source of fascination for humans. The beauty and utility of the Earth's seas, rivers, lakes and streams are demonstrated in this film, which explains why 40% of the world's population lives within 100 kilometers of the planet's coasts. However, we do not always admire and intelligently enjoy the things we adore. The sectors as rivers, like many of our environments, have become dumping grounds for our rubbish. Cleaning up the rubbish that litters these otherwise beautiful locations is a full-time job. Nonetheless, a few municipalities have the financial or political inclination to cover the expenses of cleaning. That may well be the case now that Interactive Self-Sustaining Dynamic Systems, IADYS, a French robotics startup, has released their jellyfish bolt. Apart from detritus, located up to 10 meters below the surface, the machine, which may flee autonomously or in the direction of a remote operator, goes spherical amassing the junk and gunk like plastic bottles, oil spills, and algae that dirt the water. Jellyfish Bot is equipped with sensors that not only allow it to walk independently, but also monitor the water's condition by measuring salinity, temperature, turbidity, and the growth of organisms such as cyanobacteria and phytoplankton. Robotic Labor Scientists have researched the dandelion's winning strategies to exploit the weed's characteristics for their objectives. Researchers at the University of Washington have created tiny sensors that match the weed's shape and aerodynamic capability. The piece seen here resembles a bicycle tire. However, it is a tokamak fusion reactor. Artificial intelligence is being used by Texas A&M University researchers to more reliably industrialize algae farming. They've developed two machine learning gadgets that help in algae cultivation. One forecasts how mild will spread by an algae bloom while the other indicates when the algae's bellow will become self-limiting, as the elements nearest to the sun source deliver to keep the rays from reaching the remainder of the organism. So, as you can see, these are the amazing new updates for this week. With that, today's episode of our weekly updates on the newest futuristic technologies and robots comes to the end. Next time, we'll bring you even more exciting robot news. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with us. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.